Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how to make a pure dry precipitate. Okay, the aim for today's video is to produce a pure dry precipitate of copper hydroxide. To do that we need two chemicals, sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate. The first step once you've got your chemicals is to make sure that both of these are liquids. So we need to make sure any solids are dissolved. So what I'm going to do is get myself a beaker, add in some of my copper hydroxide, and then I'm going to dissolve it using distilled water. You want to do this to make sure that all of your solid is gone and then you have your dissolved copper sulfate. Step two, once you've got all of your chemicals dissolved is to mix them together. So it doesn't matter which order you put them in, react them together and you should get a precipitate of copper hydroxide forming. Step three, you've now got your precipitate, but we've got the leftover copper sulfate, leftover sodium hydroxide, and we've also got our sodium sulfate all in this beaker, along with the precipitate that we want. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of it. And we do that by filtering it. That's gonna get rid of any liquids and leave us with our solid precipitate. So to do that, we get a filter funnel and a filter paper. We fold the filter paper in half, and half again, and we open it out by one of the tabs. Place it in, take your mixture and very slowly pour it in, making sure it doesn't go above the filter paper line. What you'll want to do is get a bit of distilled water just to rinse this into there, any of the solid that's left. Okay, step four. We have our precipitate in our filter paper, but it's still got some impurities in. It might have some leftover sodium hydroxide, some copper sulfate, and there may be some sodium sulfate there as well. We only want the copper hydroxide. So what we do is we get ourselves some distilled water and we wash it. We then leave that to go through and that's gonna give us our pure precipitate. And then finally, our fifth and final step is to dry our precipitate. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. Number one, and the easiest way, is to get it between two bits of filter paper and just squeeze them together and squeeze out any of the water. Another way that you can do it is by using a desiccator. Now, a desiccator has something like cobalt chloride crystals in the bottom, and what they do is they absorb moisture. So you would take your solution, Take your precipitate, open it out, and place it into your desiccator. And all you need to do is put your lid on and leave it to dry. So that's it. That is everything that you need to know on how to produce a pure dry precipitate. And it boils down to five easy steps. Dissolve, mix, filter, wash, dry. And that really is everything that you need to know on how to make a precipitate. I have got a question for you to have a go at, so pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll see how you've done in a min. Okay, let's go through. So we're making a pure dry precipitate, this time of silver chloride. We know that we've got solid silver nitrate and sodium chloride, so the first thing we need to do to those solids is dissolve them. So you get one mark for saying dissolve the solids, or for naming the actual chemicals you're going to dissolve. The second mark, what do we do with our solutions? Mix them. So mix the two liquids gets you a mark, or again, mixing silver nitrate and sodium chloride together. Mark three, what do we do next? We filter, so filter the mixture, and then 
An explanation for that is to separate your solid and liquid. Marking point four, wash the solid. Why? To remove any impurities. That gets you an extra mark. And then our final marking point is leaving it to dry. And then you can get an extra mark for saying by either using a desiccator or using filter paper to absorb the water. Now you'll notice again, there are more than six marks available. Any six will get you six out of six. So there you have it. Most of the marks of this question are for remembering five words, dissolve, mix, filter, wash, dry. If you can get that in there for how to make a pure dry precipitate, you're gonna get most of your marks. I have got a review question for you. Have a go at it. And if you want to put an answer in the comments, let me know and I'll tell you if you're right or not. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.